morning jumping on after my walk around town for this for this morning um, and I thought that I would actually share some of the things that I come across um, because I know that it will help and I've been thinking about this this morning because I watched a video last night or had a plane in the background and the guy is focused on keto and um, ketogenic diet and, and also intermittent fasting and just helping people to walk right he wants people to reduce the amount of belly fat that they have why because fat around your belly is um, fat around your organs and potentially you don't really want that much sitting around there because um, it causes issues and we we have seen in the past so far how that is linked to pressure on the heart like an, and then of course you got cardiac issues so um, quick video this morning's walk I chose to leave my phone at home I'm not someone who listens to a lot of podcasts and I don't often listen to books story around that but that's not for now so um, leaving my phone at home making sure I wear something that tells me how many steps I do um, I thought that I would become aware of the environment where I am and have a look at some things that are common to Australia and what I found was um, two two pieces or actually three three pieces of nature to bring home <laughs> often picking up sticks and stones and stuff uh, the first thing that I did was I actually got a, this tiny little piece of resin from a tree it fell off when I put my hand on there so I didn't pull it off it actually fell off so it was obviously ready now the interesting thing with resin right pine resin in particular is really really good for healing wounds but resin is really good for the skin for the human skin and there is study and information around this but this is just my interpretation and my own awareness and understanding is that a tree when it is cut will bleed and the, the way it bleeds is with the resin right but it's re it's blood it, the tree's blood if you like has um, everything it needs in it to repair itself and and that's where you get the resin forming so when you mark a tree and it comes up with that crystallized stuff some ants really love the eucalypt ones but anyway some crystalline material that goes hard and that's how the tree repairs itself and heals itself and when it's had enough it, it um, just breaks off or falls off um, or becomes part of the tree and the bark grows around it and all that sort of stuff so I thought that was pretty interesting I, I don't know if humans if we cut ourselves well I know our blood coagulates right unless we get stuck on blood thinners so there's a whole other story too um, but when we cut ourselves and we bleed it's not just blood there's there's also other material um, how can I word this there's also other matter in that fluid and it helps to set and for the skin to heal right there's, there's a message to my madness here anyway so a little piece of resin to remind me that um, everything heals I guess in its own time and uh, this comes off a pine tree down near the waterfront um, they're definitely imported and you see them in anything to do with sailors and that you know that whole German picture I don't know what they are um, or I do know what they are but I can't remember so um, and this was formed where somebody else had ripped the new shoots off the actual tree so I collected that piece then as I was walking on the way around the corner because I was done with walking on the footpath I decided to walk on the grass I walked through a whole heap of people's gardens but they're on the nature street right I, I picked this up because this was on the ground and I'll probably let this stick dry and then put it in the fire as a bit of an offering but it's definitely a eucalypt and I actually really love this tree it is the only one that I've seen in my little area in Bustleton that has these pods um, but the flowers are really cool too they're like fireworks they're like firecrackers and um, yeah so I thought this was interesting I'd share it too I'm sure some smarties gonna know what um, form of eucalypt this is and they can share that um, but yeah it's so eucalypt is is all across Australia and um, we have all different species but this is just one right there's another one not far from me too that I love and I love the ones that have the 
bark on them that look like skin, you know, and they're just like they've got wrinkly elbows and stuff like that. And then there's salmon gums. They're not in Busselton. Anyway, so um, this was the other thing that I collected. And eucalyptus is good medicine. Eucalyptus is fantastic medicine for respiratory. We know that. And uh, you, can, you can get a whole heap of eucalyptus leaves and let them dry a little bit. Or just get a whole heap of fresh ones, actually, eucalyptus leaves. And put them underneath the shower and then hit them with um, hot water. And yeah, the smell. Amazing. But if you crumble the leaves, you get the smell anyway. The last thing that I wanted to share with you... I wasn't going to pick it, so I didn't pick it. I waited until I found one on the ground. Is this bottle brush? Okay, so bottle brush um, and eucalyptus are also a part of bushflower essences, and they're big medicine. Bottle brush, if you think it's going to clean you out, right? Look at it. It looks like a baby's bottle brush, right? And you get the glass or the container or the bottle and you put the brush in it and you're going to clean it all out and it gets all of the little bits and pieces and gets into all the little nooks and crannies. See, it all just, this is so fresh. It feels so soft when they dry all of their um, little flower petals fall off. And yeah, anyway, it's still beautiful flower. So um, it has no scent, which is pretty cool. Um, there's not many Australian natives actually that have a lot of scent in the flower, uh, except wattle. But anyway, um, birds love it. They love it for the nectar. The flowers pop out. So both these, the eucalypt that I picked up this morning and the bottle brush, I've always loved these plants. I've been fascinated by them as a little kid. The leaves are really soft when they're first forming and they're so fluffy. And then you have the flower, the bees love them, birds love them, great nectar producing, but also really, really fascinating to look at. The, the texture is really cool. Um, if you're not from Australia, you don't see bottle brushes, there you go, that's what it looks like. Um, and the, yeah, the flower just bursts out. So this was on the ground in a place that people have been kicked out of, it's got a yellow sticker, but the plants and nature are still there and they look beautiful, so I just picked up on the way past. Anyway. Bottle brush, part of the bush flower essences, and Australian bush flowers were created by a dude called Ian White. He is predominantly in the eastern states in New South Wales. Bottle brush essence helps people move through major life changes and the overwhelm that often goes with those changes. So flower essences, if you're not familiar with them, are vibrational medicine and um, it's very delicate and you have to be calm and still, but that will help you if you're a busy person too. And the way that you use them is that they're a tincture. Um, so you put a few drops, whatever you are told to take, it's normally seven. Um, put a few drops onto a teaspoon and put it under your tongue. Hold it under your tongue, let it resonate and sink in and then go about your day. And, and you won't notice it, right? Because it's subtle changes. But anyway, um, bottle brush. It helps with the overwhelm that goes often goes with those changes, especially retirement menopause, adolescence or death, etc. It brushes out the past and allows the person to move on. So it cleans everything out, right? Excellent remedy for pregnant women and new mothers, apparently, who feel inadequate. It will help throughout pregnancy until after the birth and will assist with bonding between the mother and child. It is excellent for healing unresolved mother issues. Uh, what have we got? Negative conditions. So this is how it supports on the negative side. Unresolved mother issues, overwhelmed by major life changes. So our old age, adolescence, parenthood, pregnancy, approaching death. This is interesting that this is coming to me today. Positive outcome, serenity and calm, ability to cope and move on, mother-child bonding. Now, I also have a um, textbook. So that's a little book that you can get off his website, Australian Bush Flower Essences. And then we've got a textbook as well. Um, well, for me, it was a textbook. It was part of my training, um, naturopathic, natu naturopathic training. I chose to study flower essences as a sideline. You know? um, anyway, every end is a new beginning. Begin it now. Cholestamon is a genus of the Metacea family, consisting of small trees and shrubs. Of the 20-odd species, 16, including Cholestamon Limnarius are found in New South Wales. So that is bottle brush. 
The generic name Glycerin means beautiful stamen and the showy bottle brushes are made up of many individual flowers packed in dense cylindrical spikes on the tips of the branches. The colour lies in the numerous stamens which are much longer than the, than the five inconspicuous petals. The bottle brushes are abundant in late spring, so it's actually early spring over here, um, are about 10 centimetres long and brilliant red and they do come in other colours. A new growth of silky shoots begins in the apex of the flower spike and in the following year a new spike will form at the growing tip. So that's the soft S, um, leaves that I could feel, right? The bottle brush essence is for major transitions in life. It helps to give people a belief in their own ability to handle new situations. Now I'm just going to skim over this to things that I've highlighted. A number of other physical changes occur during the person's life. Every seven years, all our body cells are replaced and metaphysically, every seven years up to the age of 21, another outer body is formed. So yesterday's video, I talked about everything being energy and the external thing around us. At 21, when the astral and etheric bodies have been formed, the person has a good chance of living to old age, which is why we traditionally celebrate that birthday. Well, there you go. Um, many other major turning points and transitions in life are, are there, of course, and it helps to brush away the past and allows a person to move on to new situations and experiences. To resist change is to block the flow of life. If you look at your life and realise that you are not making any new friends or meeting new people, that you always drive the same way to work and rarely change your hairstyle or the type of clothes you wear, then bottle brush may be the catalyst you need to get the life force flowing again. People close to death can take it twice a day or as often as remembered. The remedy is usually quick acting. Like most things in Australia, I guess, pretty full on, but suffering.